Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about older programmers who are juniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what happens to older programmers who are in the start of their career? Will they get viewed by others the same uh, in the same way as a younger junior developer? Well, uh, I suppose that me that depends on like the age of the person that you're talking about and more importantly the environment that you find them in so the there is this notion which I know for a fact to be wrong but there is a grain of truth in, in it which is that the software developer like a programmer being a programmer is a dead-end job or it's something that is only for people who are in their 20s or their 30s or I mean I've even heard I've even talked to people who said that after 30 you're basically a manager or you're unemployed and I am living proof that that is not the case living breathing proof and I have co-workers who are uh, in their 40s early uh, early 40s uh, who are also living proof that this is not correct and I have the most senior co-workers uh, that I've worked with who are in their 50s who are proving that that's not always the case. Now the grain of truth is that there might be a bit of ageism going on. That is something that definitely happens. One and But this is the general consensus that I find which is that the the ageism problem is really only is it the the main problem with it you will face at the interviewing stage like when their cv is going through to whoever is going to employ you that's the thing that you're fighting usually on paper you are old or something like that uh, the thing that usually dictates whether or not you get the job later on has less to do with your age and more to do with culture fit, like what type of personality do you have, what type of in, uh, interests do you have. And see, this is the thing that people think is uh, all about the age. It's not about the age. It's about your passion, enthusiasm, energy, and personal interest in software development that is the most important factor. And that's the thing that like you, you think that the age thing is the cause. That's the thing that causes you to not get the job. It's actually not. It's just a symptom of what actually causes it and that is that you as a software developer at some point or at a certain age you simply do not care anymore or you simply don't have the same level of hunger. I'm not saying that that's always the case. There is definitely an ageism in the industry but what I'm saying is that the biggest threat to your long-term career as a software developer is that you stop caring about the work that you like that you're personal development, your skills and so forth and so on, you get complacent. That is the thing that's going to kill you, kill off your any major ch any chances you have later on in life to be employed. Because guys, there are there are gigantic corporations and there are small companies, there are different types of companies and if you are if you, you 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 can literally get a job working for one of these gigantic corporations who like they just need people who can produce code. They're not trying to be Google, they're not trying to hire like the smartest people on the planet, they're trying to find someone who can do the thing that they are being paid to do. That's it. And if you're a junior software developer, even if you are of an advanced stage or like you're mid, mid middle age or like older, depending on what you mean by older, right? The, you still have a shot. You still have a shot. I'm not saying that there's no ageism. I'm saying that you you're not it's like it's like dating out of your league if that's even a thing. You like you, you can be physically you can be physically less attractive than the person that you're dating and still and still have a shot. Like just because you're not as good looking as all the other guys or girls or whatever that doesn't mean that you have no chance whatsoever it might make it harder like if you're severely overweight or like I don't know like the, everybody has their own preference right but it's still possible for you uh, to find someone to spend your life with it's the same thing here just because you are older and you start as a junior developer that doesn't mean that you can't get a job like the 
the most like I was I worked with more than a few people who started learning coding I think uh, one of them he started when he was 34 and then there was one who was 38 and one person I think was for 45 roughly in the class that I took and they all they all work today so like uh, I, I, I'm not saying that y you're not gonna be better off if you start at a younger age of course that's that's always uh, going to be a positive thing but it's not like you should give up if you really want to do this so what I want you to take away from this is that what happens like the way that you usually view older pe people who start coding later in life is it really comes down to the people that you interact with at the company some company I mean in some companies they might not hire you because you're older um, and in some in in some companies they might do it regardless of that you're older you're still just a junior developer and the thing that dictates how well you fit in is really your personality you have to be able to do the job and if you're a junior developer and you're in your 30s or 40s or whatever you might be 50s uh, there's no difference between you and someone who's in their 20s or is just starting out at, at the professional at, at the in the professional context because you're producing code and as long as you're you might even be better off in some cases because you might be, be more pleasant to deal with but that's up to you that really depends on you if you are an energetic 40 50 something you might be a much better fit for a company as a junior developer than some i never really met anybody like that but some very bitter 20 year old or someone who's really aggressive or something like that so i i, I really want you to understand that remember that the personality of the developer matters more than most things once you get to the once you get into in contact with a company who is willing to give you a shot and as long as you have those skills on top of uh, together with that you do have a shot that's all i'm saying have a great day